Oh, it's a stark contrast to her. Oh, the target eyes. I am the War Chief. Hello, my friends, and welcome. We are in session once again for another Hololive reaction, and this time we have two eye covers. One by Toa, who we already know is one of the most amazing singers in Hololive, and one by Louis, who, well, we only got a teaser of how she sings when she made that amazing first impression in her debut by coming out with Kamina glasses. I already love the reference. <laughs> Kurin Lagan is one of my favorite animes of all time. So we got a little bit of a teaser of how she can sing. But, you know, her vocal tone, she sounds like a mix between Ohayu and Echan. So let's see what she can do in a um, studio produced um, cover, huh? So let's just jump right into it and let's see how different their styles were. Okay, so let's start off with Toa's cover. Let's see how she approached this. And uh, do we get captions? Korean auto-generated. Nope. All right, then. Let's just take it in as it is. Here we go. That art is already godlike. I. All the heart eyes. <laughs> A little bit menacing there. Giving Yandere vibes. I did look up the lyrics prior to this. Signature Toa voice. This is why she's Val's favorite. And she's definitely in my top three. <laughs> it's so unique whenever she sings. Yeah, that's amazing. Oh. Yeah, it's essentially the lyrics. It's essentially Yandere mode. <laughs> and initially, you'd think it kind of looks like a throne, but on closer inspection, she's actually lying down in a coffin. Right? You see the, you see the cushioning on, on the red. Really you want her uh, to look at, like to look at that? Uh, do you want her to look at you like that? <laughs> Jeez, that's such an intense stare. You notice her fingernails? Colors on her fingernails. That's such a good detail. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, those glowing eyes. Ooh, it's a shame. It's only uh, two minutes sixteen long. That's a really short song. Oof. Well then, let's see what the newcomer can do. Although to be fair, Gen 6 is rearing up to be an incredibly powerful generation. They're insane. Like just with Laplace, like you can see how much experience she has just by how she conducts herself. Anyway, let's go on to Louis' cover. It's interesting though with her outfit like this and she's like in that coffin as well. It almost looks like a hero's burial. All right, let's see what you can do. Mm -mm. Look at her eyes. <laughs> Jeez, those heart eyes and then that intense gl uh, blue glow. Oh, wow, her intonation is so smooth. Yeah. 
very similar to Okayu. It's like it's like Okayu's, but the biggest difference is that she has a very slight rasp to her vocal tone. I okay, I'm a big fan of her singing voice. <laughs> oh man, I, I don't know what to tell you. I'm weak to those low voices, man. You can hear that flair that she's adding to the end of her syllables. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep, there you go. That uh, deathly stare, too. It's a stark contrast to her. Oh, the target eyes. That's such. That's the, such a damn cool feature that she has. <laughs> How perfect that it's a transition of those eyes in I <laughs> Oh damn and it ends just like that. Ah <laughs> I wanna hear more. <laughs> wow. Okay. So Let's, uh, I'm just gonna give you guys some closing thoughts and uh, we're gonna head on out of here, all right? This is gonna be a quicker video. These newcomers are swinging for the fences, man. Gen 6 is so legit. And then with this eye cover by Louis, now you really get to appreciate the intricacies of her voice and Right, it is Okayu-esque, but she also has a unique um, added raspiness to it. There's a certain, there's something specific about her vocal tone that makes it very different and distinct from Okayu's, despite how they do sound similar on first impression. And of course, Toa killed it, as always, with that lower register of hers that's just so uniquely Toa. Like, when you hear her singing... There is no mistaking that that's Taw's voice, right? Oh my goodness. I, for one, am very, very interested to see what is going to come up next. Um, I mean, Chloe also gave us a little tease of her musical prowess earlier, and I think 175,000 of us died on the spot. <laughs> oh boy it's gonna be an exciting um it's going to be a very exciting next few days Kali's cover of Usewa with Milky Queen is also coming out tomorrow you bet your ass I'm gonna I'm gonna react to that as well all right you guys I hope you enjoyed that um let me know what you thought about in the comments below uh re recommendations are always open and with that our session is adjourned Everybody, please take care of yourselves, and I will see you in the next one. This is Senator Warchief signing out. Bye-bye.